שלום שלום לכם, שלום עליכם וברכים בואכם. Welcome, welcome once again to another video. Within this video, I'll be talking about verbs, also known as פעולים. פעולים, אוקיי? Verb, singular, פועל. פועל, אוקיי? Plural, פעולים. There are a few key points that you should know about verbs. First one would be the easiest way to remember verbs and words. So verbs and words study the roots. This is not a natural um, thing that is done so much within a people. Of course not. Um, but when you go to school, uh, there are specialized schools. Yes, you would learn certain um, roots and then which words are brought from that root, which words are form, which words are brought forth from th that particular root. A people go about naturally learning by conversing with one with each other, right? But since we are not in that capacity, <laughs> so to do, this is the fastest, easiest way, okay? From roots form majority of words, which is true, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, let's see, great. Now, we have here Aleph, we have here Kaf, and then we have here Lamed. This is the root, Aleph, Kaf Lamed is the root. From this root, which is Shoresh in Hebrew, Shoresh, Shoresh, okay, come about many other words, okay. I have here in the parentheses what type of um, word it is, either if it be a verb or a noun. This is a verb. It Ekel, ekel, okay? Ekel means to make, eat. This root is about eating, okay? So let's just say the root is eat, okay? So ekel is a type of binyan, which is building in Hebrew. It's a type of um, form of verb. So, ikkel is make, eat. Achila. Achila is eating or food. Eating. Okay, it's a noun. So, from this root came about these two words. Next word we have, ma'achal. Ma'achal is also, actually let me write that down for you make eat next we have eating next we have ma'khal ma'khal is eating as in let me get a, find a better word let's say food okay this is food or what's edible so it's food and this is a noun. Next we have Nechal. 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 This is eaten. It is a verb. Eaten or has been eaten. Okay. Next Machelith. Ma'acheleth, okay? Ma'acheleth is a noun, and this is a knife. Not an ordinary, well, can be an ordinary knife, but not a knife that we know of today. This is like a slaughtering knife, or a, a it's used for, not, sacri not sacrificial knife, but K 
killing of animals. Let's say if it looked, if I can get this to work. Okay, if it looked like that. Okay. It's like an old fashioned type of knife, a butchering knife, a slaughtering knife. Okay. So I'll put knife here, slaughter. If it would write. Okay, great. Next we have here, okal. And I know some people, you know, well, majority of people pronounce this okal. 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 Okay. Ekel okal. This is, has been made to eat. Okay. which translates as consume okay this is make eat been made to eat consume is the um likely translation okay now this is ochel ochel okay ochel is food there's a lot of um, words for food, but that's how it is. Next, we have he'echil. He'echil. He'echil is cause to eat. Cause to eat. There are certain endings you'll see. It's all, it's, it'll be like that for majority of the verbs that you see, okay? Is a causative verb, passive active verbs, things of that nature. So this, cause to eat, which translates as feed. It translates as feed, but this is actually what it is, cause to eat. Okay, so from this one shorash, you have ikel, achila, ma'achal, Nechal, hechil, ochel, okal. Okay? And that goes for almost every word and every um, root. The certain roots that are no longer in use as this root. Aleph, Beth, Beth. From this one word, I'll just do one, because there's there are um, several words that come from this. You have this Aviv, A, Viv, Aviv. You know Aviv is the first month of the year. It's spring, also, right? So this, from this word, can we deduce what the Shoresh is? Yes, we can. This was about vegetation. It was about greenery. It was about lushness. Okay and sprouting if this thing would write great so from that came about aviv first month then you have um spring okay that is why you have till a uh, viv tel tel okay tel is a mound okay a mound tel is a mound 
so mound of and then aviv okay so that's how hebrew works there is logic there's a lot of logic behind these words so those are the points that i wanted to make okay so let's get started now first word achol to eat, there are two ways of saying this. Okay. Achol. Next word. The next way of saying it. Leechol. So achol, leechol. These two ways you must learn. In modern Hebrew, one only puts the lamed in front and they only use the second way. In the beginning of Hebrew, the infant stage of modern Hebrew, both ways were used. However, that started to decline as years passed. Then, le'echol, well, every, um, there's two types of infinitive. These, both these are infinitives. We'll go through exactly what type of uh, verbs and things of that nature later. For now, this is part one. Okay? So, achol le'echol. You have to remember both of these. There's a pattern in Hebrew. The first one, you have the kames, and then you have the holam or holem, however you want to pronounce that. Okay? Or kamath. However you want to pronounce this sign or symbol here. Okay? So, all you see is this, and then you see this here. So, you see this. You see that. Let's say if you have another word, which we will go over soon. This will be baro. And for the next word, you continue. You have the kamis, and then you have the cholim. Cholam. And that is one way of saying two verb two verb two and then the verb okay next way you have the lamed and then you have the verb okay leechol anytime you see an aleph here most likely the lamed would be a whole syllable and then the next one be half of it we'll get into this later that's all you need to know for, for now. What does this say? Well, of course, you can read it without the vowels. Okay. But for now, let's see if we can put those on. Great. He ate. This is to eat. Right? So the kal of this... Kal means easy and... Um, Hebrew for grammatical terms it is the base the first um, binyan remember binyan means building so binyan the first simple one is kal or you can say pa'al pa'al so pa'al okay it's the simplest one two Classical Hebrew has no real tense. There is, of course, in European languages, there is the past, present, and future. Same thing in modern Hebrew. However, classical Hebrew does not adhere to this. Okay? So this is, let's say, perfect. Perfect has is a action that has been completed will be completed or is being completed right now it depends upon the context what has been said before or what will what will be said after the verb and i hope that's as clear <laughs> and concise okay so this is he ate a khal a khal a khal okay I ate achalti. You ate male because this is zakhar. Remember zakhar? You ate achalta. They ate achilu. You ate plural achaltem. 
We ate achal. Let's move on to nekreva. Bismol. On the left side, okay? This is in the left. You see nekreva. Female. Achela. She ate. Achalti. I ate. Achalt. You. You ate. Achilu. They ate. Achalten. You ate. Plural. Achalnu. We ate. Okay? Notice how we, it doesn't matter if it's male or female, still say the same. Same thing goes for they, still say the same. And then I, still says the same. So, achalti, achalti, achilu, achilu, achalnu, achalnu, same thing. Sorry about that, it's a bit noisy. So let's take a look at an example of this. I know you're wondering, well, how do we understand if it's past tense, present tense, future tense? Um, how? Well, you will, again, by context. So I have a, one second here. Which one do I have this? So this one, this is. Okay, so I have Akhal Lehem. Lehem, let's put that down, what it is. This is bread, which translates as food at times. Um, when, when it's an idiom, it becomes food or it translates as food, okay? So, Akhal, Lehem, Akhal Lehem, he ate bread or food. Achila lechem. She ate bread or food. Achalti lechem. I ate bread or food. Achalta lechem. You ate bread or food. Achalt lechem. You ate bread, food. Achalti lechem. It should be. Achalti lechem. I ate bread food. I remember the khar on the khiva is the male, female. Achaltem lechem. You ate bread food. Achalten lechem. You ate bread food. Achalnu lechem. We ate bread food. Achilu, achilu, achilu lechem. They ate bread food and achalnu lechem. We ate bread food. Okay, so this is the same thing as me saying, let's remember, Beth Lechem, Beth Lechem, Beth Lechem. Okay, Beth Lechem, Beth Lechem, Beth Lechem. That's how you say it. So, I'm just going to give you a little preview of how that is. Let me remove this, remove those. Okay. So we have Beth Yod Tau Makif and then we have Lamed Khif and then Mim. So this is actually Beth here and then Lechem. So again it's crucial the way how you pronounce things, okay? In classical Hebrew. The way how you um, this was translated into English was Bethlehem, right? Bethlehem. Now, if you hear it in Hebrew, it'll sound almost the same. Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Okay. Bethlehem. Bethlehem. This makif, you're supposed to say everything quick. Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Lehem, remember? Bread. 
and then this is house which is bias in Hebrew one second let's see if this will update great so house so this is house of house in Hebrew is bias right we go bias house of is Beth Bethlehem okay let's see here great so I'll pronounce it and then you guys will repeat Achal Lehem Achla Lehem Achalti Lehem Achalta Lehem Achalt Lehem Achalti Lehem Achalten Lehem Achalten Lehem Achalnu Lehem Achilu Lehem Achilu Lehem Achalnu Lehem Okay Let's move on. Here I have a passage. Bereshith bara Elohim et hashamayim wa et ha'arith. Again, Bereshith bara Elohim et hashamayim wa et ha'arith. So Here we see a verb. Now this verb comes from this shoresh. A shoresh has the. This comes from that. Okay, you have beth, resh, and aleph. Sprouts this verb. This verb means created. This verb can only be used so far what we know when Yah does it not when humans not when animals not when anything else but Yah okay O Elohim bara created formed but usually it's created okay so just hang on to this and we'll be back so I have to create. Remember when we saw this? To create is baro or levro. Baro or levro. Okay? And actually, before we get into this, I have to talk about. Let's put that there. Take that off. Okay. I have to talk about the word order in Hebrew okay when you're forming a sentence so Hebrew is a V S O and I'm going this way okay language which means it is a great no verb subject object language okay so when you're forming a sentence in Hebrew the verb will come first classical Hebrew okay majority of the time it will go first so we saw Bereshith bara Elohim is Hashemaim with Haaris right so bara we'll use that will be the verb subject would be 
Elohim. Object would be and this is a direct object a definite direct object right this here is I know there's a book around that says that there's a deeper meaning to if I have not found one deep in, uh, deeper meaning to that it's just a indicator of a direct object okay so if or a should say a, a definite direct object okay so if indicates and let me pause this and then I'll write it okay so this indicates the definite direct object okay definite uh, okay definite direct object would be the in Hebrew I mean in English and that's Hashamayim okay Hashamayim indirect would be a or an a ball an eye so this here i'll have a separate video for just for this it'll be very short because there's not that much to talk about it um so this f or f f okay um now it's written as f before if and for a few reasons i won't get into so bara Elohim is Hashamayim, okay, created, and this should be he created, this is, you can say, God's, God, or deity, okay. So created, he created, who created? God's God deity created the. This indicates that the is coming um, next. And then you have Shamayim. So Hashamayim. Okay. Hashamayim. By itself, this would be Shamayim. Not Shamayim, but Shamayim, with the Hehayadia, this He right here, it becomes Hashamayim. Okay, so that's what this F or If um, indicates. Also, you use it before a noun, like a um, so um, like a proper noun. So proper noun um, would be. Avraham, Yishak, Sarah, Rachel, um, like person you would use if. Okay, so again, now I think I'll have to pause. And so Avraham, I better not. Uh, yes. For those of you who do want to uh, learn the script, please do. Avraham Yitzhak and Yaakov. Okay. You will use if. Okay. And then we'll get into, at a later stage, when you have if and then you have the... Um, suffixes for them okay but not right now so let's go back and we have that I have to talk about now modern Hebrew and then classical okay so with modern Hebrew you have the pronoun who right Okay, I had to pause and write it. Um, okay, so classical modern. For modern, you have he, the pronoun, who, and then created, bara. 
with verbs, one thing that you have to remember, okay? Second, let's put that there. There we go. One thing that you have to remember is that the suffixes, the pronouns are already on the verbs. Okay, so bara is he created. Bara is she created. Okay, there's no way around this. In English, you have created and then you have the pronoun separate. In Hebrew, it's attached to the verb which is beautiful. This is like the first type of um, texting, <laughs> in a way of speaking, okay? You don't have to write out the long version, it's a short, neat version, okay? Modern Hebrew extends this, okay? So if I go back, and if I write this over, actually, let me write it over on here which is more clear okay so you have modern he created and then he classical he created and then he this is normal in conversation you'll hear this majority of time in modern Hebrew classical and for literature not really it depends on who's benefiting the words right so I would talk to a child maybe this way to an adult no um, it depends if it's a newspaper sometimes the writer may or may not want to do this it's, it's, it's just too long to put who and then bara you already have bara which means he created why put who right but in classical Hebrew this is an emphatic statement for emphasis it's to um, put more, yeah, so it's to put more emphasis on what's being done or who's doing it. So, who bara? He, he's the one who created. Okay? This is redundant in Hebrew to say this over and over again, unless it is to state this is the person. Like if I said, he captured him, he, he captured. Okay? So, lachad in Hebrew is capture. So, who lachad? Who lachad? That I would say. Okay? So, that's one you should remember. And let's go back here. No. Okay, so again, bara, he created, bara, she created, barathi, I created. And it's not barati, like I said, akhalti. You have the alef here, and because of that, this becomes thi. Baratha, barath, baru, baranu, barathem, barathen. Baro Livro. Okay. Now I'm going to switch back to Bereshith. So remember I stated that Hebrew is a VSO language. Well, classical Hebrew. Um, modern Hebrew is an SVO language and so is English and other European um, languages. Okay. So you have subject, verb, object. Now, there are times in classical Hebrew where you're able to put S, V, O, okay, subject may come first, verb next, and then object, or A, O, V, S, or O, S, V. A good thing about Hebrew, the same thing in modern Hebrew, it doesn't matter which one, okay, you're able to switch. In English, you, you can go so far with it. But in Hebrew, you're able to switch depending upon what you want to convey, what you want to tell um, others. Okay, so look here. So this is a perfect example. Okay, so you have V, you have S, and then you have O here, right? Here you have O, you have 
V O V you don't need the subject because the subject is already in the first verse you have Elohim so no need to say Elohim again until the conjunction here the conjunction is we right so here we have we that is the object so I already said Bereshith bara Elohim with so I already said that in the beginning created he created who created God God's deity created the heavens and the earth or and the land right next conjunction and the land was and it was and then you have a whole stream of words after it I'm not gonna get into that I just want to do the verb and the word order for you okay so depending upon what I want to say what I want to convey to the um, listener or whatever the speaker wants to convey or tell that can come case in point let's do this let's go here I'll use the on-screen pen instead of the this one okay so V no let's do V S O so I have again bara Elohim and then I have Ethashemaim, right? For and then I can do O V S, which is Ethashemaim Bara. Elohim or I can do O S V Ethashamayim Elohim Come on and then Bara Okay so you can do it this way also and you can do S V O forgive me for my chicken scratch so bara Elohim es Hashemayim Elohim bara es Hashemayim es Hashemayim bara Elohim Eth Hashamayim Eth Elohim Bara Notice how the flavor changes <laughs> Okay, notice how the what is being emphasized and what isn't So here, Bara Elohim created Elohim What did he create? It leaves the um, listener in suspense this one does as well but when you put emphasis on the first Ethashamayim, so that means so the heavens the heavens I already know what the heavens is but I'm putting more stress on the heavens than I am over here which with the bara Ethashamayim. okay so what happened with it because I already have the indicator here, which means that a verb will take place. Okay? Most likely, a verb will take place. Ethashamayim. Okay, so what's happening with the heavens? Well, oh, bara Elohim. He created. Who created? Elohim created. This. Here, I have more stress on bara. Bara Elohim, okay, so Yah, Yah, so Yah is the um, focal point, he is the focus. Then I have, okay, so what did he create? Oh, he created the heavens. So in each of these, I want you 
to try doing the same thing with I'm giving you homework yes so let me now go into this program and do it here okay so this is the okay there we go so we have again khal a khal right and then we have lehim so this is bread or a bread now i want you to turn this into he ate or you ate whichever you want to say you ate he ate they ate doesn't matter i'll leave that up to you however i want you to do this for those of you who are now beginning for those who have passed this level great i can get you something even <laughs> harder great okay so we have Akhal Halihim. You should know now that you use if or F, okay? F. You would use this. So I want you now to order to reword this in the different types of ways. So I want you to do VSO. I want you to do SVO. I want you to do S O V and I want you to do O mm, V S and then O S V okay so I want you to do all these five put it like that okay and then you write Y it's your um or what is being emphasized in each one okay or what isn't being emphasized in each one so good luck and i hope you guys learned something out of this shalom shalom so guys going forward okay I'll be writing in both script and in block print. Okay, because script much quicker and for my on screen pen, it just looks better than me writing this way and it looking clunky. Okay, that's one. Two, you guys should know it. It's, it's a must. Okay, um, I know you guys, some of you know this one. If I could remember, <laughs> I'm guessing it's this way for bara. Okay, you can write it like that if you want as well. But for me, this is going to take longer. Okay, I can just go here and I have, if this would write, good. Mm hmm. This takes even longer for me to do. Okay. So I won't be writing this way strictly. I'll be writing in both ways. Okay.